Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in the last tutorial, you know, we have learned about the while loop in Java. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys about do while loop. So in the last tutorial, you know, when we learned about the while loop, you know, we were checking for the condition first and then we were executing the body of the while loop if the loop continuation condition evaluated to true so when this condition became false you know we just uh, stopped executing the body of this loop and and also you know if this condition becomes false in the first time then the body of this loop will not be executed so in this tutorial we're gonna learn about the do while loop you know which is similar to while loop but the difference is the loop counter condition will be checked at the end so first we're gonna execute the statement and then we're gonna check for the condition so to use the do while loop we're gonna use the keyword do then a pair of curly braces and then we're gonna have the keyword and then the semicolon so here first we're gonna execute the body of this loop it doesn't matter whether this loop continuation condition are uh, yields in true or false. So first we're gonna execute the body of this loop once and then we're gonna check for the condition. So if this condition evaluates to true, then we're gonna execute the body of this loop again. And similarly, we're gonna execute the body of this loop until this condition becomes false. So the difference between this while loop and the do while loop is that you know in while loop we're gonna check for the condition first and if that condition satisfies then we're gonna execute the body of that loop. In do while loop first we're gonna execute the body of the loop once and then we're gonna check for the condition. If that condition evaluates to true then we're gonna execute the body of that loop again. So you guys may ask me like you know what is the use of this do while loop. So you can use this do while loop while uh, you know displaying menu to the user. So you want to display the menu at least once and you can ask the user whether you want to see this message again. If the user want to see that menu again then you can re-display that. So here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose what we're gonna do is we're gonna first print out the string learning lad rocks 10 times. So I'm gonna use the counter variable and let's call it as counter and let's initialize this one to a value of 1. And then we're gonna write our do while loop. So it's gonna be do keyword and then a pair of curly braces and then we're gonna have the keyword while then a pair of parentheses and then the semicolon. So this semicolon is must. If you miss this semicolon then you're gonna get the error. Alright, now in between these curly braces, whatever we're gonna write will be called as the body of this loop and in between these parentheses, we're gonna have the loop continuation condition. So now in this tutorial, we want to print out learning light rocks to the screen. So I'm gonna use system.out.println and I'm gonna write learning light rocks. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print out the value of the counter variable. So I'm gonna use the system.out.print method and I'm gonna refer the counter variable and then I'm gonna add a space. All right, and then we need to form the loop continuation condition. So here we want to execute the statements until this counter value is less than or equal to 10. So it's going to be counter is less than or equal to 10. All right. Now, when we run this program, what happens is, you know, the body of this do while loop or, you know, these statements will be executed at least once. So they will be executed once and then the condition will be checked. If this condition is true, then the body of this loop will be executed again and again check for this condition when this condition becomes false you know the control will come out of this while loop and it's gonna continue to execute the other statements of your program so here the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make this loop to fail at certain point so if i run this program right now what happens is you know this counter variable is going to contain a value you know which is one forever and uh, you know our program will be in the infinite loop so to avoid that we're going to increment the value of this counter variable so it's going to be counter plus plus all right now i'm going to save this and i'm going to run this and now you guys can see we get learning led rocks 10 times 
So here the difference is that you know the statements inside the loop will be executed at least once irrespective of the loop continuation condition. So this loop continuation condition will be checked after executing the body of the do while loop once and you know the loop body will be executed again depending on the outcome of the loop continuation condition. All right, the next thing that I'm going to teach you will be used in the real world applications, you know, which is for displaying a menu at least once and depending on the user's input, you're going to be displaying the menu again. So here uh, I'm going to remove all the statements inside the loop and also I'm going to remove this uh, declaration and the loop continuation condition. So here we're gonna receive the input from the user and that's why we need to create an object from the scanner class so it's gonna be scanner and let's name it as input and it's gonna be equal to new scanner and then we need to pass system dot in you know which i have explained in a tutorial about you know reading the input from the user so here we need to import the scanner class and after that what we're gonna do is we're gonna display the menu in our do while loop body. So I'm gonna use system dot out dot print line and let's say number one C programming and uh, I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it two more times and I'm gonna change this one to Two and it's gonna be C plus plus and let's change this one to three and let's say Java programming so that's enough for our demonstration purpose and then we're gonna have another print line statement and we're gonna ask the user uh, enter s to see this menu again so now when we run this program what happens is you know the body of this do while loop will be executed once so it's gonna print out uh, c programming c plus plus and java programming and then it's gonna ask the user do you want to see this menu again so if you want to see this menu again you need to you need to type yes and now we're gonna take the input from the user and we're gonna check whether the user has entered the value s so if the user has entered the value s then we're gonna execute this loop again so here i'm gonna receive the input and check that input inside this uh, parenthesis so it's gonna be input you know which is an object from the scanner class then we're gonna use the next line method and then we're gonna use a method on strings you know which is called content equals and then here we're gonna have the content you know which is yes now you know this input dot next line method is going to read the input from the user and then the content equals method is going to check for the input with this as if the user has entered s then it's going to match and then this content equals method is going to return true if the user has entered anything else then the content equals method is going to return false so if the user has entered s then you know this loop continuation statement is gonna yield true and that's why you know this loop will be executed multiple times all right the next thing that we need to do is we need to close our input and that's why it's gonna be input dot close all right now i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna run this and now you guys can see one c programming 2C++ programming, 3 Java programming, enter S to see this menu again. I'm gonna enter S, Y, E, S, and you guys can see the menu is displayed again. So it asks enter S to see this menu again. I'm gonna enter yes, and again you guys can see. And if I enter something else, you know, anything else, anything other than S, then that's it, our program terminates. So this is it guys, this is about the do while loop in Java. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also the source code of this tutorial will be available in my uh, web blog learninglededucation.blogspot.com. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.